What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Transformers action figure review on the Transformers the 1986 movie studio series Voyager class hot rod. Try and get your Transformers figures, you can do so at- Search your feelings, you know it be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new here, as well as the notification bell and this figure. All right, I have my full, full-blown Rodimus or Hot Rod figure right here in my collection. First time ever I've avoided it. I mean, technically, the Unicron Mini Hot Rod was my very first one, but anyway, nice looking packaging right there. There's Hot Rod with the Matrix. There's Hot Rod again with the Matrix. He shouldn't have it. It says Voyager class right there. And then over here, you can see both modes. It says the depths of Unicron in multiple languages, and you get the backdrop. 29 steps. We'll go over every single one. There's Hot Rod again with the Matrix, and then he has the window over up at the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Hot Rod out of the packaging. Not looking too bad. I can't say anything really bad about the design of this alt mode right over here. And I did want to start the review with the alt mode just because that's how I like to watch my reviews. And I want to take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So aside from Hot Rod being responsible for the death of Optimus Prime, <laughs> I think the number one complaint about this figure is that it's kind of small for the price tag, but I think they kind of make it up with the accessories. Now, not all of these are really intended for use while in alt mode. However, the Matrix of Leadership that should have been given to Ultra Magnus, because, you know, that's who Prime wanted to have have it, still looks really good. It's got all these kind of like rocky ridges in it and stuff. Very neat. Love the silver. It's kind of empty in the back. And then you get this whole glowing effect right over here, which is really neat. So you just port it on and it just clips right here in the handle and now we got the touch so there we go looks pretty cool right yeah i like it he comes with his two blasters right here please let me know where, when he used these but yeah i thought he had his own built-in blasters and silver paint looks pretty good probably in the cartoon show rather than the movie and then you could attach these pieces right over here which actually work pretty well for the alt mode and then you get this whole buzz saw right over here which he did use quite a bit in the movie and i really like this a lot i actually really love that he has this because it does remind me of optimus Prime's Energon Axe, so I think that's cool that he has this accessory. And then as far as adding these effects, you can see the tailpipes right over here. Just want to plug it in to both right there, and I think that looks really good. I did have a lot of fun with these, so I'm loving that. Also, if you want to store the guns right here on the hood, you can port them sideways just like that, and that looks kind of weird i guess he's you know mowing down there There you go you shoot forward so if you want to do that you can or you could port this on top right over here which looks even more silly so there you go that's kind of weird it's weapon storage i guess or you could display it all on the top of the vehicle like this if you prefer this look uh i guess it looks a little bit better like that but if i'm being honest it looks a whole lot better without that stuff on there because the paint apps are very very cool i do love this whole streamlined design all this lined detail right over here looks very cool so i'm really happy with the translucent blue right over here that's pretty sweet Really dig the silver right there on the tires and everything. I mean, look how smooth and streamlined this is. It's so aerodynamic. I really like it a lot, man. So nice silver paint right here on the exhaust on the side right there. So a little bit of scuffage, minor scuffage going on. Yeah, very, very minor scuffage on both sides, actually. Then you have this huge spoiler right here with some added detail in there and everything. Then on the back, you can see the knees. They stand out. And then looking underneath, you can see some parts. You get the faux hood right over there. Eh, it doesn't really bother me much. Looking at the top, I do like the orange bits right over here. So, yeah. And he rolls okay. I don't have all four wheels moving all the time. I can see that front left tire doesn't want to move every time. It kind of scoots around. The right tire moves just fine. But, yeah, that front left tire, eh, it kind of moves. But, yeah, it's all right. Now, 
measuring out this hot rod figure, he's at about five inches across and stands only about an inch and a half tall. And then for a size comparison, here's Hot Rod next to a bunch of deluxe class figures. We have Jazz, we have Blur, we have RC missing her fin right here. I don't know where it went. And then we have Cup. I feel that frustration too, man. I wish it was a little bit on the cheaper side, especially, you know, just looking at the size of it and everything, but it does look cool. And then here's our Voyager class Hot Rod and next to our Voyager class Siege Springer. I think this is Voyager class, unless I'm mistaken, let me know if I've, you know, got the classes mixed up over here, but you can see, you know, the enormous size difference over here. I'm not even sure if I transformed him properly. Probably did not. Before I get into the transformation, I did want to mention that I do notice a bit of a color difference right here in the middle of the figure, but it really doesn't bother me that much. I'm going to get into the transformation. We're going to go backwards, so I'm going to start with step 29. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? <sighs> For step 29, we're moving these flaps back. I tend to bend the elbows right over here. It helps give me the clearance I need to reach a fingernail in there and flip this back. And 29 again. 28, 27. Part of 26 is removing these from the side right there, which is already kind of done. So we're going to flip everything else all the way forward for step 26 right here with the arms. 25, 24. 23 yep close it back up 22 i recommend you separate the legs a little bit but the goal here is to lift from the middle right here and raise this 90 degrees 21 move the legs outward 20 you want to grab by the tire and flip all the way out and around on both sides 19 flip all this down 18 17 16 and then 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 Seven, make sure this hood piece is detached and then you're rotating this 180. Six, you reattach this piece. Five, bring this all the way down. Four, tabs in. Three, two, and one. And now we have Hot Rod in his robot mode. And this is not a bad looking robot mode at all. Great details to look at here. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> Now my anger and frustration with this character isn't just because I feel like he was responsible for the death of Optimus Prime, but he also snatched the Matrix of Leadership from Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus, it is to you, old friend, to all are one. Now I don't really follow sports, but I know an interception when I see one and he just swooped in and grabbed that thing. And not only that, but it also led to the demise of Ultra Magnus. Now some say the Matrix didn't work for Ultra Magnus because it wasn't the actual darkest hour. However, all these songs about powerful touches, I think it was because Hot Rod touched the Matrix first. So that's two of my favorite Transformers characters dead because of Hot Rod. Now they did bring Ultra Magnus back to life. But anyway, you know, I'm all about redemption stories. That's cool, right? But anyway, I do like the paint apps right over here. I like the darker red over the lighter red. Nice silver paint. Head sculpt looks great and you could pop this open right here and then pull out this translucent blue plastic so you get a visor over Hot Rod's face. I love that look. That looks so freaking cool. Really dig seeing the silver right over here up top. Uh, the sculpted line work throughout on the arms looks really good. Again, you know, he shoots from over here and you can go ahead and attach these again, even though they're yellow in the movie, but still, I think that's really cool. And then the hands look really good. So I like that and they clamp together. And then there's this great feature with the hands, which I really like. You just want to untab right here and then this will splay open so that you could rotate over here and you could see that we have his little uh, repairing device or his little soldering gun kind of thing coming out of his hand, which which is great. And then on this side, you do the same thing and you get this port where you could add this whole buzzsaw accessory. And I think that's awesome. If you find a bunch of these in store, look for the one with the cleanest symbol right over here. This is the cleanest one I could find. And then you can see the shorts look pretty good, right? Or the pelvic area looks pretty well detailed. You do get a Kulo port. I find it pretty easy to use an amazing Yamaguchi stand for this. I think the SH Figo arts work well with that as well. I like all the sculpted lines that we're seeing on the orange and yellow parts of the legs. This looks great right over here. Very happy with the sleek design. Man, the, the sculpted details throughout on this are just exceptional. I really like it. Cannot really complain much about the articulation. I love that the head turns side to side and looks up a bit. It does look down a bit. A little bit of head pivoting right there we do get butterfly joints which i love shoulders move all the way outward you can move them in uh, you can rotate uh, maybe not a full 360 without you know untransforming it or detransforming it you get a nice single jointed elbow that does bend in quite a bit more than 90 degrees 
So I'm happy to see that. You also get rotation at the elbow. The wrist turns side to side. You get the finger clamping action. You get waist swivel right here. You can move the legs all the way outward so he can do the splits. And he will kick all the way forward very high and back. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. And then the ankles move down a little bit. They move up the tiniest bit. And he has beautiful ankle pivot. Measure up to the top of the head of Hot Rod. You can see it's just a bit under that six inch mark. I guess that spoiler makes it about like six and a quarter and for a size comparison we have hot rod next to cup which is a deluxe class figure i'm not really happy about paying more for this guy when they're supposed to be the same height and they are that's good that they're the same height it's just i don't need the extra weapons especially the guns right here you know by the way you can store these on the back of the figure the same way you're able to do it in robot mode so everything ports back here which is you know you get the full-on weapon storage so that's kind of neat but still you know the fact that i didn't see him use these guns or don't remember him using these guns makes me kind of wish I didn't have to pay for them. And then here's Hot Rod next to our Siege Optimus Prime, and then we have our Siege Ultra Magnus. These all scale well together if you want to mix them together. I know it's an 86 movie figure. It's not supposed to, but you know, it works. And then here's Hot Rod next to the only other two Hot Rods I have in my collection, which are both centered around Unicron. We have the Rodimus Unicronus Hot Rod version, which is a great figure because you can make a uh, Rodimus Unicronus out of this also, like full-blown Rodimus version. It's a repaint from the Rodimus Prime. It does not have that masterpiece kind of vibe, though, like this one does. I, I do think this is the better figure when you're just looking at these two side by side. And then we have the minifigure that came with the HasLab Unicron. Thank you so much for those of you that watched that video it means a lot to me that was the hardest figure review that i ever worked on so it really does mean a lot to me that you guys watched that thank you and then here's hot rod next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time deadass spider-man <laughs> So I've mostly let go of my hot rod hate, right? Mostly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, as well as the notification bell. I have a big contest coming up to this channel very soon. And a big thank you to all these people that support this channel via Patreon and membership. If you are interested in the bonus content and supporting the channel, check it out, link below. This is a fun figure to have. I cannot deny that. I'm still not the biggest fan of the character, but I can't let that take anything away from the figure itself because I think Hasbro and Takara Tomy did a fantastic job with this thing. I really like the transformation. I really like how both modes look. I mean, that really goes a long way for me. When I really enjoy both modes, that says something. So the figure itself, it's a very good figure. I know it costs extra with the bonus uh, material and everything spent on it. I wish I didn't have to get the guns, but it is still kind of cool seeing him holding the two guns. So I did want him displayed with them. So yeah, I'm a little bummed out about the price point. I think that's a little unfair, especially because it's a pretty good figure compared to like the cup figure. And I mean, I don't know. I like this a lot more than the RC figure, but you know, it holds up pretty well compared to the other ones, but it's not so much to the point where it's like, oh yeah, should pay Voyager class for that. So kind of wished it was a deluxe class, but you know, aside from my gripes, you know, I'm still happy with this figure. And at the price point of around 30 bucks, I'm going to give this hot rod a sudden rating of it's not so bad deal with it all right if you like this figure a lot more than that then deal with my rating on your own uh, you're lucky i gave it that high of a rating for a hot rod figure okay baby steps people baby steps no but for real it's a good figure it's a really good figure but you know the price point thing does take points off of it but i want to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in action figure news you can find it all over at toynewsi.com and if you want to follow me over on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will have a live stream with the one and only jobby the hong from 2 to 4 p.m pacific standard time i hope to see you there so i'll catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.